Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. As you know, here in this playlist, we are discussing about the CCCAT preparation. How am I going to start studying on the CCCAT preparation if we I am left with one month? What are the various topics that I have to focus on? What are the various types of questions I can expect from this uh, in a CCCAT examination? Everything will be discussed in the series. So please stay tuned and keep watching the series. We are here to discuss about in detail the CCCAT syllabus which we give for the CDAC admission process. Then what are the various content of the syllabus and what elaborated syllabus that has been mentioned in the uh, CCCAT admission booklet. So to uh, share with you, let me share my screen. As you can see that uh, what I believe is that whenever you are going to start any preparation, just stop dreaming it that I'll do this and I'll do that. What I believe is just start doing it right now. So even if you're going to start starting your preparation of uh, studies from today itself, you have, you have nearly more than one month for, to start your studies and you can definitely achieve a good score in CDAC, uh, pre-CAT exam examination. So now what exactly we are expected to prepare for, we can look into it. So as we know, there are three sections for which the exam is to be conducted, section A, section B, and section C. There are 12 courses for which section A and B are essential, and there are uh, two courses for which section A, B, and C, both are uh, uh, all of them are essential. So for embedded and VLSI, you have to apply for section A, B, and section C also. And all other 12 courses need to be applied for section A and B. Uh, if you have seen a syllabus in a, a booklet, uh, you will be able to see a very limited, uh, you know, information given into that. And what exactly will be the content inside it? How am I going to work in English? Means what are the various topics I have to focus in English? Quantitative aptitude, reasoning, computer fundamentals. What are the various topics that I'm expected to know about and learn about? We will be discussing them in details. So this information that we have gathered is based on a memory uh, of the students that have appeared for the examination that I personally had given CCCAT examination. So I just want to, uh, I, I just remembered them and uh, based on that uh, memory analysis is done and we have gathered this information. Uh, the syllabus might be a little vary from based on this content, but most of the time, 99% of the time, this will be the syllabus for your examination. So, under English section, you are definitely expected to have at least 12 to 15 questions. This will be the part of section A, wherein you can expect uh, um, questions on synonyms and antonyms, reading comprehension pages, which will be the major contributor because it will have a paragraph and you will be expected to answer three to four questions out of that paragraph. So reading comprehension will be the major one. Uh, then uses of the prepositions, spotting the errors in the sentences, this will be another hurdle for you because spotting errors most of the time feels that every question is the similar one. So that will be difficult to uh, uh, comprehend. Then we will have a sentence completion, active passive voices, idiom phrases, articles and sentence arrangement is the one where you have to actually give your thought process a, uh, you know, sort of elaborated region. Uh, because uh, every question will, uh, every answer of this one will be filling you right one only. So you have to think more about while completing the sentence arrangement. You will be given with the three to four sentences, you have to rearrange them to make a good co coherent paragraph. The next one will be quantitative aptitude, which will have questions around 10 to 12, um, which is again a huge contributor for out of 50 questions. The number systems, algebra, arithmetic uh, operations, time and work, geometry, probability are few of the questions that you can expect on. Time and work, that is the train problems or the profit and loss problems, the numbers on uh, the calculation of HCM, LCM, volume, area, surface calculation, probability, calendar are the important ones that you guys have to start focusing on, start working on the more and more. The key to get more score in section A is to get a good score in quantitative as well as the next topic that is a reasoning because these two are we have already you know have a glimpses of idea so we are in a position to get a good score over here under reasoning you are expected to solve a verbal reasoning series and patterns logical reasoning in a logical reasoning it's a good contributor because 
out of this expected 10 to 12 question which will come under reasoning at least three to four questions come on a sitting arrangement the sitting arrangement is like um, the few people the person a b c d e f g f g are sitting in a row and uh, someone is sitting next to doctor someone is sitting next to lawyer lawyer is not sitting between this and that this kind of questions you guys can expect so out of which you will be able to understand and analyze so the reasoning will be another good scorer for you computer fundamentals and programming is another uh, contributor in a, a section a where you will be expected to know all the basics of computer when they invented what is a memory memory management how this number system in computer works what is ram what is rom what is cache mm -hmm. the programming concepts like algorithm oops all the basics of them you are expected to know you need to know IDs, debugging, functional, uh, functional and object-oriented programming also. So, section A is a good scorer section wherein you will have English and aptitude and reasoning held, uh, holding your hand. So, you will be able to score more into this section compared to section B because this is more of a, a computer-oriented, language-oriented section. So if you are from the other branches, section A is definitely a good scorer from you. So you have to focus on section A more. Uh, so if you could see a rough, a rough uh, calculation or the rough evaluation wherein you will be able to see that computer fundamentals reasoning have around 20% of the weightage and English and quantitative will have 30% of weightage. So put a more emphasis out on these questions, on these preparations, on these sections so that you will be able to score more in section A. Section B is kind of a vast one which is divided into the five different segments. The first one comes to be a C language which is the major contributor which will be having around 15 questions and all the basic things of the C language applications related everything C language includes that will be covered into this one starting from when it was invented what are the various loops functions pointers arrays strings structure union and file handling will be the part of this section B under C language next will be data structures here you have to know a lot of questions to be solved based on a snippet. So what are the snippets? Snippets are the ones which will have a four to five lines of code with you and you are expected to tell the output of that code. So data structure and C language, both will include the snippets which will be um, giving you a you know, challenge to solve this if you are from non-IT background. So for algorithms, uh, searching and sorting, tag queues, link list, trees and graphs are the basic data structure that you are expected to know. What do you need to know about them? You need to know what are they, how do they work, what are the strategies, what are the various methods they do have. Along with it, you need to know the complexities related to them, how much they are complex and how do they work in, uh, in reality. So this section, again, I would say 15 and around 8 and 25 questions. There is a half of the syllabus, half of the 50% out of 50 marks will be for section from section B will be for these two. So you have to give a more emphasis on these two. Next one we have is object oriented programming with the help of C++, that's CPP. Uh, it will have a core concepts of classes, cl objects, constructor, destructors, inheritance, polymorphism. Exception handling is another important concept over here. Then the memory management, malloc, and everything will be covered over here. Uh, this will have around 10 questions you guys can expect from uh, object-oriented programming with C++. Then the operating system will include everything related to operating management, and uh, then uh, memory management, process management, all this question, file handling, networking, etc. The basics of them you need to know. Both of this section will have a theoretical based questions more. So you need to know that how this, what are they, how do they work, what are various theoretical points into it, uh, what are the MCQs related to them, you have to study in that way. The last part from the section B comes as a big data and artificial intelligence. 
this will be more of a theoretical base wherein you have to know the big data, AI basics, neural networks and everything, the base of everything. How do they work? What exactly they are? What are the various frameworks they include? How am I going to answer if the questions are getting tricky related to comparison between two frameworks or something like that? These questions can be extracted over here. It will have around 10 questions. So this is another, not a big contributor, but one of the contributors in the section B. So if you could see the overall contribution of all the sections, the big data, OOPs, operating system data structure, and the C language, which will be the major com contributor and all others will be around 15 to 20% of the contribution. So you have to give emphasis on understanding every topic in detail for sure. But C language, you have to give a lot of emphasis on to score more. Then comes the section C. The section C is to be specifically, as we have already told, VLS and embedded admissions. You guys have to start working on the section C related because this is more of electronic stuff, uh, circuit stuff, which will be here. So it will include digital electronics, computer uh, architecture and microprocessors. And um, this will be a section more of a theoretical base, except the first one that includes number system, Boolean algebra, logic gates and K map. So over here, you can expect some of the mathematical calculations, comparisons, fill in the blanks kind of questions, but all of this will be a theoretical base. So you need to read a lot to score more on this section C. So the section C again, if you know this nearly an equal contribution, computer architecture, digital and microprocessor, all of them in equally 15, uh, 16 questions from each section you guys can expect. So for to score more in section C, you just have to work on all of three together. So this was all about the syllabus of overall analysis. Whatever syllabus was mentioned in a booklet are the names only. What am I expected to study more of uh, uh, from that? What are the various uh, aspects are you to focus on? This is what we have discussed into this video. To learn more about it, please subscribe to the channel and keep watching. Thank you so much.